Hello friends, my name is Miranda and welcome to my universe. Today we are doing another March Madness. Whoa! Except this time all of Cassandra Clare's books are going head to head in an epic battle to see which one owns Miranda's heart, my heart. I don't know why I speak in third person sometimes. Cassandra Clare has published 20 books if you do not include all of her separate short stories that she's written with other authors. She has published 20 books as of today, right when I'm making this. Unfortunately, I haven't read all 20. I've read 19 of them. So we are not including Chain of Thorns, which is Cassandra Clare's latest book that she has published, which is the third book in the Last Hours trilogy. So I'm not including that one. However, the rest of them are fair game. They are all in my M mug right now. The way this is gonna work is we are going to have several rounds. In each round, I'm going to pick two, eliminate one. We're gonna keep doing that until half of them are gone, put the other half that made it back into the jar, and we keep going until there is one winner. Last week I did March Madness except Stephen King edition and I had so much fun doing it that I decided to give another one of my favorite authors a shot. Let's begin. Also, if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. Comment down below which book is your favorite and we'll see if I agree with you. All right, the first two going head to head, City of Bones, Mortal Instruments number one, versus City of Fallen Angels. Same series, but this is the fourth book in the series. First of all, this is not my favorite series by Cassandra Clare. I actually think her writing gets progressively better as she continues writing. So I think I'm gonna have to go with City of Fallen Angels just because that is further in the series. I'm not a huge fan of City of Bones. Next two, we got City of Heavenly Fire. Wow, what, what was I just talking about? This is the last book in the Mortal Instruments versus Queen of Air and Darkness. Queen of Air and Darkness, 100%. This is the third book in her Dark Artifices series. And like I was saying before, I think her recent work is much better than the Mortal Instruments. So that's very self-explanatory. Next two, we got Clockwork Prince versus Chain of Gold. Okay, Clockwork Prince is a part of the Infernal Devices series, which is my favorite series by Cassandra Clare. That being said, I'm really leaning towards Clockwork Prince winning. Chain of Gold, though, is phenomenal as well. This is the first book in her most recent series. I'm gonna have to go with Clockwork Prince, though. That, The Infernal Devices, holds such a special place in my heart. This is the series that got me into reading again. Next up, we have Lady Midnight. That's the first one in the Dark Artifices versus Ghosts of the Shadow Market. Oh. Lady Midnight, 100%. Ghost of the Shadow Market, I, it's good. I actually think that it is the best short story compilation that she has out published right now. But versus Lady Midnight, no chance. Ghost of the Shadow Market, The Bane Chronicles, and Shadowhunter Academy, those are her short story books. I can bet you money right now that those will not make it past the first round. <laughs> I could imagine all the people watching this video who haven't read Cassandra Clare's books and you're probably so lost right now. First of all, thank you for still watching this video. That means a lot to me. But second of all, it's okay. I get it. It's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> Next up, we have Shadowhunter Academy versus Clockwork Princess. What did I just say? Clockwork Princess is a part of my favorite series. So naturally it would move on. And Shadowhunter Academy just wasn't even it's 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 not that good it's not that good next two we have the bane chronicles versus the lost book of the white this is funny both of these surround magnus bane phenomenal character by cassandra clare love him very much i think i'm gonna have to go with the lost book of the white the bane chronicles is not my favorite like I said, the short story books, I just don't enjoy very much, so. <laughs> Next two, we got The Clockwork Angel versus Lord of Shadows, Clockwork Angel. I have read this book multiple times, which says something because I hardly ever reread books and I've read The Clockwork Angel multiple times. Lord of Shadows is 
fantastic though. I really love the Dark Artifices series as well, but the Infernal Devices, like I said. Next up, we got the Red Scrolls of Magic and City of Ashes. I'm actually going to throw a plot twist in here. I'm going to say that City of Ashes wins because though Mortal Instruments is not one of my favorites, I'm not a huge fan of Red Scrolls of Magic. I just wish the books in that series were thicker. I feel like you don't really get to spend a whole lot of time with the characters. Mortal Instruments has more of an impact on me than the Elder Curses series. So, City of Ashes wins. We have Chain of Iron versus City of Glass. Oh, Chain of Iron, for sure, for sure. 10 books going back into the jar for round two. Alrighty, first up we got Clockwork Princess versus City of Lost Souls. Clockwork Princess. That ending, bro, cried my eyes out. Okay, next we have the Clockwork Angel. What is my doing with my arm right now? <laughs> versus Chain of Iron. This kind of sucks because these both are phenomenal pieces of fiction, okay? But I think I'm gonna have to go with the Clockwork Angel just because of the series it's a part of, you know what I mean? I love rereading it because I feel like I'm re-meeting Jem and Will for the first time. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing. All right, next two, we got Queen of Air and Darkness versus the Clockwork Prince. Oh dear. Oh no. Ah, if you couldn't tell, the Dark Artifices and the Infernal Devices are my two favorite series by Cassandra Clare. Um, I do think I have to go with Queen of Air and Darkness simply because this book is massive and I have a lot of fond memories surrounding it. Though Infernal Devices is my favorite series, Clockwork Prince is probably my least favorite book in that series and Queen of Air and Darkness is my favorite book in Dark Artifices. So when they go head to head, Queen of Air and Darkness has to win. All right, next up we have City of Ashes and City of Fallen Angels. City of Fallen Angels, simply because this is the fourth book and this is the second book. And this series just gets better and better as it goes along. Last two that we have here, Lady Midnight and The Lost Book of the White. Definitely Lady Midnight. We already saw that one coming. You know me. I like thick books. Five books going back into the mug. Let's begin! Round three, we got Queen of Air and Darkness versus the Clockwork Angel. Why does this have to happen to me? Why must I decide between two of my favorite books? Oh my gosh, I think I have to say Queen of Air and Darkness. I think I have to, oh no. I never would have imagined that I would eliminate the Clockwork Angel, but Queen of Air and Darkness is so thick and so great. And this was the first time that I met Cassandra Clare and I got my book signed by her. And that and the characters, I love Emma and Julian. I just, oh, okay, yeah. Queen of Air and Darkness wins. The next two, we have City of Fallen Angels versus Lady Midnight. Lady Midnight. Come on, somebody. And then the last one that just gets a freebie is Clockwork Princess. Infernal Devices. Oh boy. All right. So we're down to the last three. And I am just going to tell you who wins in a little bit. Let's first examine these books that I have here. We have two books of the same series versus the last book in my favorite series. Oh boy, this is crazy. Like I said before, the Infernal Devices is what got me back into reading again. I found the Clockwork Angel just randomly at a thrift store, decided to buy it, and it began this whole entire journey into the Shadowhunter world. But then we have the Dark Artifices trilogy, which comes out way later in Cassandra Clare's career. So she's much better with writing character dynamics, in my opinion, at least. Recently, she's incorporated a lot of different character dynamics, and I can tell she's pushing herself out of her comfort zone to try to include characters that deal with a lot of heavy, difficult things. And she pushes through it with them, and she tries to figure it out. And that's what I really love about The Dark Artifices, is exploring how do you overcome 
a romantic relationship with your best friend? And how do you get over the hurdles of mistakes you've made in the past that are undoable? That's just what blows my mind about the Dark Artifice trilogy, but the Infernal Devices. This has a very sweet, pure, precious place in my heart. I think that this series is overall one of my favorite young adult series I've ever read in my life. What I really like about it too is that I can actually recommend it to people. The Dark Artifices you can't read without spoiling a ton of things for yourself because you need to read her other series before you read it. But with The Infernal Devices, this is where you can start, people. I actually think Queen of Air and Darkness is going to have to take the cake on this one. <laughs> I love this series and honestly I think that it really does deserve the win. I think it wins this March Madness simply because it is BAM a thick book bro. I actually think that was the first huge book that I've read by Cassandra Clare and it is so worth it. If you want to start reading Cassandra Clare I highly recommend but you should start with the Mortal Instruments or the Infernal Devices not the Dark Artifices okay? Okay, that is all I have for this video today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you. Please be safe, make good choices, and I will definitely be seeing you next time. Bye! Queen of Air and Darkness. Queen of Air and Darkness. Yeah. Emma and Julian. Yes. Parabatai. Yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 dun